what do we see here? We can choose the browser by default. The new Atlas OS is here. And this time you can update not only Windows 10, but Windows 11 as well, including 23H2 version. In simple words, Atlas OS is modified version of Windows specially designed for gamers. More precisely, it will increase FPS in games. Today I will show you how to upgrade to Atlas OS from Windows 11. Moreover, I will compare RAM, Windows processes, and do a short benchmark in CPU-Z. Disclaimer, you will not be able to go back to Windows 11 after installing Atlas OS. Just keep that in mind. But before we start, I want to thank our sponsors. 4D Dick Software Black Friday deal is live. Limited offer. You can get a 60% off one month plan on 4D Dick Data Recovery, File Repair, or Duplicate File Deleter. Moreover, by using this special coupon, you can get 30% off on a one year plan. Don't miss a chance to win a $100 Amazon shopping cart in a lucky draw. For this, you need to subscribe to one of these social media platforms and click on the start button. Everything is very simple. I wish you the best of luck. And here we go. Finally, we are in Windows 11. Right now, I'm going to show you that we're using 23H2 version. So I will scroll down a little bit. And yes, here we have Windows 11 Pro 23H2. Let's move forward. Let's check how much space Windows 11 takes. Click on this PC. I have installed Windows 11 on local disk C, but without updates, so it is very important to know. Click on the rightmost button, select properties. As you can see, the system takes 21.3 gigabytes of space. You need to understand that this number may vary. Of course, let's check how much RAM and Windows processes system use right now. So I will click on the task manager. At the moment, Windows 11 use 2.8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm using Windows 11 in a virtual machine, but I think it will not make a big difference because Atlas OS will also be run in a virtual machine. Here we have all almost 150 processes and if we click on the windows processes you may see we have background processes 36 scroll down a little bit we have 89 almost 90 windows processes to make this video more interesting i will do a simple benchmark in cpu z so double click on it select yes as you can see, this is Intel Core i5 processor of a generation. I allocated two cores and two threads. So let's move forward, select benchmark and click here, bench CPU. You may notice that in multi-core it scored 1055 points and on single core 343 points. Not a bad result, not bad at all. Now I will close this utility. Before downloading Atlas OS, we need to go to the system settings and disable Microsoft Defender. It is necessary because it may interfere. I will select privacy and security, select Windows security, open Windows security, select this option and here you may see manage settings. Click on it and uncheck all of these options. Scroll down a little bit. After all this process, we need to open a browser. In my case, I will use Microsoft Edge browser. So double click on it and type next. Atlas OS download. Press enter. Then you will see this website, atlasos.net. Link I will leave in the video description. So you need to click on it. On this page, you may see a next info, a modification of Windows designed for gamers. Indeed, Atlas OS will make your system work faster. On this page, you need to download Atlas Playbook and AME Wizard. So click here, downloading process begin. Now click on AME Wizard and it will download as well. After downloading, you can open it in folder, 
I want to mention one very important thing before upgrading from Windows 10 or Windows 11 to customize Windows for the example to Atlas OS, Revy OS or even Ghost Spectre, you need to understand that it is always risky. In this case, it is necessary to do backup. If you have some important files, data, etc., I recommend to save them. For this, you can use cloud, external hard drive or even a USB stick. It will depend on how much files do you have. And also I want to know that you will not be able to go back to Windows 10 or Windows 11. You will not get such a feature like this. In this case, you will need to do a clean install. So I hope you understand this. Now we need to unzip these archives. For example, you can double click on it and move it to the desktop to make it more convenient. I will repeat the same process with the second file. In this folder, you may see three files, Atlas Playbook, Bypass Windows 11 Requirements and Disable Automatic Driver Installation. Actually, we need only this file, but if you have an unsupported hardware, you can try to use this file, Bypass Windows 11 Requirements, and we need to disable automatic driver installation if we want to manually install drivers from the internet, because as you already know, Windows 10 and and Windows 11 automatically installing drivers for many devices. In my situation, I will only move this file to the desktop. Before moving forward, I want to mention that this is necessary to activate a Windows because without activating Windows, it will not work. Open AME Wizard, double click on it, select yes. We are in AME Wizard. Simply to understand, this utility will allow us to upgrade to Atlas OS from Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now you need to click here and select the playbook. In my case, I moved the playbook to my desktop. So I will select desktop and here it is. Click here and select open. Now you may see next info, Atlas OS playbook and the version. As I previously said, you need to disable security. If you will not disable security, you will see this message and then you will need to click here and disable Microsoft Defender. After doing this, you need to click on next. As you can see, it detecting activation, everything is okay. In this window, you may see that we have a green mark here, but we need to do some actions. So click on run actions and we need to get the latest updates. Click on install all. After receiving the latest updates, you need to restart the system. Click restart now. I successfully restarted the system. So we need to double click one more time on AME wizard. Select yes. The thing is after restarting the system, you need to again disable Microsoft Defender. So click here and uncheck all of these options. Now we can close this window. Click next. Again, it will check whether our Windows is activated. Nice. Now we need to click on next. Agree with all conditions and terms. Click next. Click on agree. Now we can tweak some options here. For example, we can enable or disable Microsoft Defender. I recommend to leave it by default. Enable. Click next. This option I also recommend to leave by default. Click here. One more time. Click on next. We can change some options here. For the example, we can remove Microsoft Edge, disable Bluetooth, disable power saving. In my opinion, I think it's not necessary to disable Bluetooth, so I will leave it and click next. What do we see here? We can choose the browser by default. We have none option. That means we will not have any browser, but still I will choose Google Chrome browser because I prefer to use Google Chrome browser. Click OK. Select next. After all this process, you need to wait and be patient until it will optimize your operating system and then you will be able to use Atlas OS. I want to note, if you will check this option, your system will be automatically restarted. So I recommend to leave it by default and just wait. And finally, believe it or not, but we are in Atlas OS. Firstly, you may notice that all files and programs are on the desktop and that's great. So let's check the version of the Windows or it's better to say the version of Atlas OS. So I will click here, select system, scroll down a little bit. And yes, this is Windows 11 Pro 23H2 version. 
Here we have the similar specification, Intel Core i5 processor of 8 generation and 6 GB of RAM. Now I will close this window. Now let's check how much space does it takes. So I will click on this folder, click on the right mouse button, select properties. Even though after upgrading to Atlas OS it takes the similar amount of space, 21.9 GB. Now let's check how much RAM does it take. Type task manager, here we have task manager, click on it, I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. If you take a close look, you may see the system use 1.7 gigabytes of RAM. Also, I noticed that it use less CPU, which is really awesome because it will improve the performance of your system and you can run other utilities without any problems. At the bottom, you may see 74 processes, which is impressive. In the past, there were 150 processes, but still, let's check when those processes. So I will click Click here. Now we have 27 background processes and here we have Windows processes 44, which is great. So yep, Atlas OS is much lighter than Windows 11, obviously. The last test for today will be the benchmark in CPU-Z. Double click on it, select yes. You may see that all application works perfectly even after upgrading to Atlas OS. We have the similar specs, two cores, two threads, click on bench and select bench CPU. As a final result, my processor scored on a multi-core 1064.9 points and on a single core 356 points. In my opinion, it's quite similar to Windows 11 and completely to be honest, I don't see a particular difference in this test. You may see that on desktop new folder appears, which is Atlas folder. Simply to understand, this folder is only optional, it's not necessary to use it. Moreover, if you wish, you can just delete it. Of course, it all depends on you. So now we can normally use Atlas OS, I mean Windows 11. I hope I will be able to buy an old machine and try other modified version like Atlas OS, Revy OS in gaming. If you want to see this video, please Please let me know in the comment below. If we look at the interface and the theme, it's look quite similar to Windows 11. Also, you can change the theme in the option. You can go to the original white or black theme. So for this, you need to go to the settings. Then you need to navigate to personalization, select themes. And for example, you can select the original theme. It all depends on you. My conclusions. As you can see, Atlas OS is quite an interesting modified version of Windows. In fact, it's much lighter than Windows 11. Is it worth installing it? So, it will all depend on you. To be honest, I use Windows 10 as my daily drive, because it is very simple without modification. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video where I compared Atlas OS and Ghost Spectre.